Hi, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So last week, I was at the Mike Ferry Production Retreat in San Diego, which was absolutely ridiculously amazing. I mean, Mike Ferry is up there for three days just dropping one golden nugget after another. I'm trying to write as fast as I can. There was just so much great information. Then he even brought up an agent who's made over $48 million in commission in his career. And that agent was giving us tips that he's used in his business that he thinks we should use as well. So unbelievable three days, great information that I can't wait to relay to the agents that I coach because I know it's really going to help out their business. So absolutely loved it. Now I'm not going to do a three things Thursday on that per se, because that will turn into a 100 thing Thursday. And the problem is, is that one, my battery would die before we got to the 100 and two, being that most people that listen to my video are salespeople, they have the attention span of a, oh, look at that. You get my point. So instead, what I'm gonna do is three things Thursday on golden nuggets that I got from people I met at the Mike Ferry Production Retreat. So talking to people on breaks, lunches, breakfast, things like that. Sometimes when you go to these events, that's the best part is meeting the people there and learning about their business and what's helped them and you get those little golden nuggets. So I got a bunch of those as well, but I'm gonna highlight three of them that I got that I think is gonna be a big impact on my business, on the agents I coach, and I think could be really beneficial for your business as well, okay? So let's get into it. The first one, there's a couple people that contributed to it, but the overall theme is something that I've talked about before in previous videos, so you've heard this before, is surround yourself with the right people and how important that is. So, give you a couple of examples. I was fortunate enough to sit two chairs down from a woman from Colorado that's earned over $50 million in commission in her real estate career. First of all, let that sink in. Not sold $50 million in real estate, has made $50 million in commission, okay? So, here's the thing. I asked her, I said, look it, you know, you've made all this money in real estate, you've sold hundreds and hundreds of homes, you seem to have this real estate thing figured out, right? So why continue to fly from Colorado to California for these events for a few days? Why do all these different things? And she simply said she needs it to stay focused. So that way she can continue to build her business. She needs to surround herself with big producers like this. How amazing is that mindset, right? Here's a woman that has this all figured out, right? Made a bunch of money, and yet she still thinks that if she doesn't come to these events and surround herself with these people, her business is gonna go down. That's amazing, because if I talk to an agent locally that's made $50 over their career, it's like, oh, I got it, I got this real estate stuff figured out, it's not that hard, it's, it's okay, right? The ego gets in the way. $50 million in commission, she's like, no, nah, I gotta come here, gotta stay focused, gotta surround myself with the right people. Amazing. The second example is that is I met an agent and this is her fourth year in real estate, just starting her fourth year, and she said this is the year that she's gonna take off. This is the year that she's finally gonna break through the barriers and have a monster year. And I was like, good for you. I said, well, let me ask you, what's been your production been the first three years? She goes, well, the first year I only did 18 deals, second year I did 32, Last year, I only did 44, and, you know, I just really got to break through. And I'm sitting there encouraging, like, wait, good for you. But in the back of my mind, I'm going, holy crap. Year one, you do 18. Year two, you do 32. Year three, you do 44. And you have the mindset of, like, you're barely doing anything that you need to really set your business in a better way so that way you can get more deals. That is amazing mindset because again, locally, if I talk with an agent that does five deals a year, it's, I, I got this. I got this real estate stuff figured out. I, I don't really need any help. I don't need training. I don't need to work on my skills. I, I got this. And these people are doing 40, 40 a year. And they're like, I'm doing nothing because they're surrounding themselves with people. They're doing 100, 200, 300 deals a year. Even the people that are at the bottom end are doing 50, 60, 70 deals, 15, 20. It's amazing the people you're surrounding yourselves with. And so that's why they go to these events to surround themselves with the right people so that they can get better at their business. The problem is when you leave that event, you go to your local real estate office and 90% of agents don't do a damn thing. So the one that walks around doing three or four deals thinks they're hot shit. I'm the best agent in the world. Da, 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 da. I do three or four deals. Woo 
You have to continue to surround yourself with the right people, not only personally, but also professionally. It makes a big impact on your business and your life. So continue to surround yourself with the right people. It will help your business. It's amazing. Okay. Second thing was a little tip that I got from Neil Schwartz, the broker owner of Century 21 Masters, who's my mentor. And he talked about overpriced listings. And Mike was talking about this as well, but Neil dropped a little nugget on us later on. And he said that if you have a lot of showings, but no offers, that means your home is overpriced by 5%. If you have no showings, which means no offers, then your home is overpriced by 10%. And I found that really neat because I've never actually had someone break down the numbers like that. We know it's like, well, it's overpriced, it's overpriced, it's overpriced, but what percentage are we looking at here? And how do we adjust that way when we're doing a price reduction or we go back to our sellers and say, this is what's going on with your home as far as getting it sold. And having those numbers makes a big impact because now you can tell your sellers, this is what's going on, this is what we need to do, so and so forth. So, First of all, you shouldn't take overpriced listings, that's number one, but if you do, know those numbers, okay? A lot of showings, no offers, it's 5% overpriced. No showings, no offers, 10% overpriced. Thought that was really neat. The third thing was really, really cool that I talked to another agent about, and I love the honesty of it, is that sometimes people in sales, present company included, just need a great kick in the ass or a punch in the face. Not literally, okay, figuratively, all right? And so this woman, great gal, super honest, she was the number one agent in her market doing 60, 70, 80 deals a year, making 300, 400, $500,000. Now, mind you, she's also selling homes in an area that costs like $8. Right, I think that's the average home price where she's from. So you can imagine how much production she's doing to make that kind of money. She gets married, they move to a different state. So she walks into that market again, like, I got this. I got this real estate stuff figured out. No big deal, I'll take over. And she just hit reality like a brick to the face. Business just dropped. She wasn't working on her skills. She didn't study the market. She didn't study the people there. And it just devastated her business. And she realized, holy crap, I can't just walk around and think that I can do all this production without continuing to work my skills, know the market, all these other different things. And so she had to sit back, get herself in order, do those things. Now, a couple years later, she's right back on top. Okay, because she's got the natural skill set, but she has to continue to work on it. And now she's doing more deals and making more money than she ever did before, even in the previous day. But she honestly said that if she hadn't got that punch in the face, she wouldn't have worked on her skills that much to be making the money she is now. Sometimes we need it. And if we get it, just take it and learn from it and go from there. But I thought that was really cool. Sometimes we need it. We need a good kick in the ass or a good punch in the face, however you want to word it, to get our egos in check continue to work on our skills and take our business to the next level. I thought that was really cool. So those are three golden nuggets that I found from people outside of Mike Ferry that I got at the Mike Ferry production retreat. I thought they were really good. I can't wait to implement them in my business, in the agents that I coach business, and hopefully you can implement them in your business. If you were at the event, I'd love to hear some stuff from you as to what you thought were some good golden nuggets. So definitely let me know those. I'd love to hear them. That's our three things Thursday. I hope you have a great week, a great weekend, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.